Hi, I'm Nikki with the Sitting Angel. So today I'm just going to break down a very simple transitional combo. It's a beginner level combo, but it's a fun way to kind of link your movements together or to catch a breather if you're, you know, getting tired through your spins or your inverts. Um, this is also something, you know, if this is something you really have and um, you really like, you can also add this into your warm up a little bit. I like adding step arounds and transitional movements into my warm ups. Um, so this is one I like to add, and it's also one I like to put. You know, in whenever I'm dancing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a step around to a B hook. We're gonna lean, and then we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna kick off the pole. So then we can go into whatever movement we're gonna do next. Um, and there's you know endless possibilities of what you can do afterwards because you're just kind of you know standing there facing the pole. So you can turn away from the pole. You can go into a spin. You can go into an invert. You can go into another transition. Um, so it's a really versatile combination. So I'm going to show it to you first and then I'll start breaking it. Okay, so what we did was a step around to a B hook, we leaned down, came back up, and then we kicked off. So for your step around, Start about hips width distance from your pole, inside arm high, shoulder engaged. So my shoulders back and down engaged, spine's neutral, my abs are tight. I'm going to step on my inside foot, and then I'm going to step around my outside leg and come across with my outside hand. If you're going to dip in your step around, that spine, just make sure you take your hips back as you go down in your hips. Make sure you take them back. And you're not leaning forward, you know, putting your knees go over your, your toes and everything. So I'm going to step around, plant my foot, slink up my inside leg. And as you do that, kind of lift there at your hip. So as you can see, if I'm lifting at my hip, if I'm not lifting at my hip. So you kind of want to bring it up there at your hip. And it's running from the back of your knee, back of your calf to the curve of your ankle. And then I'm going to hinge at my hips, keep my chest forward, let my hand run down my leg, head drops, head comes up first, push up through my chest, rise, and then I'm going to pivot on my foot so I face my pole. So now I'm facing my pole. So once you get to where you're facing, that's then where you can kick off in your leg. So I'm here, I'm going to kick off and through if I'm going to walk or something like that. So if you notice, as I kicked off, I lean back a little bit. Now if you want to lean back, that will help you get your foot up a little bit higher. Make sure you stay within your range of motion for your flexibility so it'll, it's not a wild kick or anything like that. It's a slow and controlled kick. And I lean back a little bit to help raise my foot up. So if you lean back, you're not coming, bending this knee over and kind of coming forward in your hips. It's almost kind of like you're doing a crab or an arch. So I'm going to keep my hips forward and up. I'm going to lean back a little bit. And that's going to help me raise my leg. So if I'm here, lean back up, through, between my other leg and the pole. I'm going to walk or something like that. So let me show you that all the way through. Step around. Slink your leg up. Down. Face your pole, kick off, and there's your step around to your V hook to your kick. 